me start with those who have lost things. You have lost things. In the name that is above all names, I'm praying now. Here at Koinonia, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada, across Africa, Koinonia Global, and indeed the body of Christ, I stand by the privilege of the election of grace, and I decree and declare, let there be a restoration now. 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 Tragic events that don't have an explanation from losses, financial depletions, the death of loved ones, the loss of relationships, closed doors in the name of Jesus. The spirit that is behind it, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I decree and declare that spirit gives way now. That spirit gives way now. That spirit gives way now. Every mark upon your head, you may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration. I command reconnection. I command restoration. I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing. Whether institutionally, whether corporately, whether personally, none of them is profitable. I pray for you. The same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus, every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead before the end of 2023, come out of that situation. Come out of that situation. By the ministry of men, come out of that situation. By the ministry of favor, come out of that situation. By the ministry of wisdom, come out of that situation. By the ministry of mercy, come out of that situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who have lost time, delay has happened in your life. And the truth is that time has gone. Even if the constraint were taken away from your life, it will take grace for you to catch up. I pray for you. There is speed and there is restoration. These are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time. The Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil. And there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption. One is called speed. Another is called restoration. When God wants to help you, you will experience both. Restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow. Speed moves you further into your tomorrow. I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration. May time be redeemed now. May time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration. May time be redeemed now. Everyone here who is under any curse, any diabolic manifestation, the scourging tongues of men, according to Job chapter 5, one of the six things that he says God would deliver us from, 
anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you cause pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die I prophesy leave where they said you will fail I prophesy go and excel where they said your children would do the same negative thing I midwife by prophecy may your children be Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ that out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days Live long and fulfill your days. Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest, but in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, he would, have, he would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, even now, November, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. The final prophetic declaration please hear me every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life I release my faith one more time in the name of Jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that I mentioned you are not having it work in your life I agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith I declare may this grace rest on your life May this grace rest on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Amen. Because the Bible says, Weeping may endure for the night, but it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Please give Jesus a big hand clap.
celebrate your victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you an opportunity to run to Jesus right now. We have just a minute for you. Apostle, the first deliverance I need is from a life of sin, Satan, serving the devil. You are in this place and whilst you heard me speak, the Holy Spirit spoke to you. Remember the prodigal son. The Bible says, do not harden your heart when you hear his voice. Our time is spent, but we must give you a minute. Wherever you are in this auditorium and then all the overflows, even if it's just for one person, I want to give you an opportunity to make it right. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus or make that first time decision very boldly with nobility and honor. Leave your seat and I want you to come to the front. Go ahead. Let's celebrate them as they come. Don't sit back when he calls you to come. Don't sit back when he calls you to come. God bless you. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus for them as they come. 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 This is a new day for you in the name of Jesus. A few more seconds. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Don't say we came together and I'm ashamed. No. This is a personal decision. Make this noble decision before Jesus and before his saints. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Those of you who are here, our Zaria family, our global family, and all who are connected by way of internet and television. If you want to make Jesus Lord of your life as you're listening to me, he's giving you a chance right now. As I lead these precious ones in prayer, I want you to join with all your heart, believing that as you pray, he's faithful and just. The Bible says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins that God is faithful to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear ones, thank you so much for making this noble decision. Some of you are crying. There's no point being ashamed. You are before Jesus, the Redeemer, the Deliverer, the Helper. May I request that you lift your right hand as a sign of honor to the King and say after me as loud as you can, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my lord my savior and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i declare before Jesus and his people that I am a child of God. I am saved and washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep those beautiful hands lifted as I pray. Father, thank you so much for this wonderful time. Thank you for your precious people. They have heard your word of salvation and deliverance and they have come declaring your lordship over their lives. In the name of Jesus, based on the authority of Scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you recipients of the life of God. The grace to live the victorious Christian life, it is imparted upon you today. And I declare that you go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. For in Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. Please do well to move to my right, which will be your left. There are counselors waiting to have a word with you very quickly, and you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you.